98 Prelude uh, crank, but no start. Um, I basically ran it low on gas and uh, let my nephew drive it. And when he started it up, he just started it like, you know, whatever. He didn't give it gas. And when it died, you know, he tried to go start it again. And and uh, and then it died. And then it just wouldn't start. And just crank, 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 crank. And then no start. And it's like, fuck. So, uh, 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 you know, beginning of the year after it sat for, you know, months and months and months uh, last winter, uh, it started rough, you know. And so something, you know, and the fuel system wasn't, you know, right. And so... It, you know, running like shit, and you know, after you let it sit, and so it just started kind of almost doing that. Where you know, when it should run, it, it almost start where it just it just room, but then room, but then come, 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 it just wouldn't fire up. And so I'm like, you know, what the hell? And you know, am I running off fumes or something? And so I, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, checked for spark, I had spark, I uh, uh, uh checked for uh, uh, you know, fuel and. And, and by you know i sprayed some of uh, starter fluid in, in in there and uh uh you know it w wouldn't start and still same thing and so uh uh you know what did i do i uh i changed the uh uh, uh what most people do i changed the uh, uh main relay underneath the dash by the knee and uh still you know it's uh, you know it's didn't do anything and basically before you change that you can put your hand on it and if it clicks that i guess means it's working and one buddy said and the other thing I did was just had someone else turn the key while I stuck my ear next to the fuel pump and I could actually hear it myself. It makes a little buzzing sound. And uh, so and then I had gas. And so the next thing I did was crack the, uh, uh, crack that. And then, and then, you know, it's turned the key fuel was spraying everywhere. So I had fuel there just, you know, wouldn't start. And so, uh, you know, I took the spark plugs out and the spark plugs did not have fuel on them. They were dry. And so uh, there's just no gas getting into the chambers. And so I'm like, what the hell, man, you know, you know, is it, is it fuel injector? Is it, you know, you know, whatever the hell's going on. And so I went to the junkyard, uh, uh I could, you know, thought maybe it's going to be one of these because, you know, uh, it, it controls the uh, fuel, you know, open and closing of whatever the uh, fuel injectors. And so I couldn't find a prelude, just grabbed one from a freaking, uh, uh, Honda cord, threw it on there. And then, um, when I tried to start it up, I noticed all of a sudden it was like getting fueled or whatever it was like, and then, and then, and then, uh, there's a big cloud out the back. And then, so I was like, whoa, hey, I think I'm getting fuel now. So I put the old one back in and uh, 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 I uh, uh, finally had fuel, um, uh, pulled the spark plug. There's, you know, fuel all inside the spark plugs. They're just, they're, they're all dark and black and all fouled out looking. So I just figured, fuck dude, I better just, now I have fuel. I better, you know, put some new spark plugs in here and see if this thing will boot. Um, but what, you know, I had done was I had uh, changed the, uh, a uh, 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 distributor cap and rotor and I put the distributor cap into some Chinese one and it didn't really even fit flush it just looked off so I pulled the Chinese one back off put the original one that was made in Japan back on that fits all nice um, left the rotor in there that I'd replaced give it a little tune up and um, and uh, you know sure enough fired right off and uh, you know I, I guess I replaced the coil too and uh, that didn't help. I actually even replaced the distributor, the whole distributor, and that didn't help. And so, you know, I went through like all the whole entire system and it, the only thing left would have been the crankshaft sensor, sensor uh, and the uh, timing belt. And so that was something that it was gonna have to get towed for. And I really was hoping that, you know, it wasn't gonna have to be that. So that's how I diagnosed my crank no start issue and actually fixed the damn thing. It only took me a few days, but you know, uh, uh, whatever, fuck, uh, yeah, I just had to crank it over about, you know, a thousand times, uh, maybe 500, but, yep, there's a video for the 98 Quaalude, uh, crank, no start, so, uh, finally started, all right, take care, everyone.